A lot of people seem to get confused when we start talking about wireless adapters and wireless cards. They don't know what they are, why do we need them, and how to select the right one because there is so many brands and so many models. What we mean by a wireless adapter is a device that you connect to your computer through a USB port and it allows you to communicate with other devices over Wi-Fi. So you can use it to connect to wireless networks and communicate with other computers that use Wi-Fi. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking that your laptop already has this and yes that's correct, most laptops and most phones already have this built in. There's two problems with that though. The first problem is you can't access built-in wireless adapters through Kali if it's installed as a virtual machine. The second problem and the most important problem is the fact that these built-in wireless adapters are not good for hacking. So even if you install Kali as a main machine and then you'll have access to your built-in wireless card, but you still won't be able to use this wireless adapter for hacking because it doesn't support monitor mode or packet injection. So you won't be able to use it to crack Wi-Fi passwords and do all the cool stuff that we can do in Kali Linux with Aircrack NG and other programs. Now before we start talking about the brands and the models that will work with Kali Linux and all that, I want to talk about a more important factor, which is the chipset that's used inside the wireless adapter. So forget about the brand for now, and we're going to talk about the brains, the mind that actually does all the calculations inside the wireless adapter. This is what determines whether this adapter is good, or bad, whether it works for, whether it supports packet injection and monitor mode and works with Kali and Aircrack or not. The brand is irrelevant. What's used inside that adapter is important and that's the chipset. Now there is a lot of chipsets that support monitor mode and packet injection and Kali Linux. The best one in my opinion is one that's made by Atheros and its model is AR9271. This chipset supports monitor mode, packet injection, master mode, so you can use the chipset to create fake access points, you can use it to hack into networks, you can use it to packet to inject packets, you can use this chipset to do all the attacks that I show in my courses, and pretty much all the attacks that you could do using Aircrack NG. I actually don't know of an attack that this chipset that doesn't support. The only problem with this chipset is that it only supports 2.4 gigahertz. So if your target network uses 5 gigahertz or the some of the devices are connected over 5G, then you won't be able to communicate with these devices. You won't even be able to see them in, air, in AeroDump and all that. So you won't be able to launch the attacks against them. That's not because the chipset is not good. It's because it literally cannot see 5 gigahertz traffic. So it only works over 2.4 gigahertz. Now, if you want to get an adapter that uses this chipset, then you have two options. Well, you have a lot of options, but I'm going to talk about two. First, a cheap option, which you can get an unbranded wireless adapter that uses this chipset and you can use it to do all of the attacks that I just said. The only thing is that this adapter is unbranded, so it's a bit cheaper. The second option is to get Alpha AWUS036NHA. Now this is a wireless adapter that's made by Alpha, which is a very popular company, and they make great wireless adapters. So again, it has the same chipset as the budget one, it'll have the same compatibility. The only difference is the build quality. This is a much, a much higher quality product made by a very good company. I've used both of the adapters and they both function very well. The only difference is the Alpha adapter has a longer range and it just seems a little bit more reliable. I don't know if it's just in my head or if it's just Alpha is just a better company. The plus for the budget adapter though, it's much smaller, it's much more compact. So if you're in a public place, it's much easier to use than the Alpha one, which is big and has a big antenna. So the Atheros 9271 is a very good chipset. It supports packet injection, monitor mode, Aircrack NG suit and all the other tools that allow us to run wireless attacks. The only problem with this chipset is it only supports 2.4 gigahertz frequency. It doesn't support the 5 gigahertz frequency. Which bring me to the next chipset, which is a chipset made by Realtek and its model is 8812AU. 
Now this chipset only got its support by Kali Linux in Kali Linux 2017.1. This chipset supports monitor mode, packet injection, and 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequency. So it's everything that the Atheros chipset did, plus it supports the 5 gigahertz frequency. Now the only problem with this chipset is that its support is only recent and it just doesn't seem as reliable as the Atheros one. Some of the attacks might need stronger signal, some of the attacks will fail and you'll have to do it again, sometimes the card will just get disconnected and you have to connect it again, and small things like that. Now this chipset, again, we have two options for it. You can get a budget wireless adapter that's much cheaper than the Alpha one, and it just has the same chipset, so it's gonna perform very well. Or you can get the Alpha one, which again is a very good company with a good reputation, and it is stronger adapter, so you will get stronger, you'll get further away networks because you'll have stronger signal with this adapter. So the Alpha adapter that uses this chipset is Alpha AWUS036ACH. So I'm gonna include links in the resources for all of these adapters so you can compare their specifications and get the right one for you. Again, the most important thing is the chipset is not the brand. The budget ones are much cheaper, they're more compact, so they're better, you can use them better in public, but they're not as strong as the alpha ones. The alpha ones will give you better signal, so they will be a little bit more reliable. But again, the budget ones will work perfectly, they'll support all the attacks, the only difference is it's just the build quality is a little bit less than the alpha ones. So compatibility wise, the budget adapters will work just as good as the alpha ones because they use the same chipset. So we go back to the same idea is that the most important thing is the chipset that's used inside the wireless adapter.